you know, I'm very excited. There's momentum in the air. There's a lot of buzz. People in Rovania want change, and change is what they're going to get. The next thing that I'm seeing is that I'm, I'm flabbergasted with the amount of uh, money marts that we have in the area. I think we probably have the most concentration of money marts in the area, and that is really, I think, uh, uh, you know, taking advantage of the poor. Uh, and, and a lot of them don't know that they have better ways of going out and getting their checks and whatnot, but they just feel so vulnerable. And, uh, and I think there should be something going on with that. And I know that my counselor finally has done something about it, sent something to the province, but it's, it's a provincial matter, and people don't, don't know about that. Uh, and they should be looking at that. Uh, the other thing is uh, legalization of, of uh, marijuana and whatnot. I mean, I don't have a problem with that, but the thing I do have a problem with is that that's just sprouting out all over the place. And next thing you know, Montreal Road is just going to be, one just closed down the other day. The other one just is opening up in a couple of days. Manitara is opening up in a couple of days. You know, they can dress it up as, as much as they want, but I think there needs to be some strict regulations and we need to get ahead of this. Um, and then you've got the whole issue with, you know, uh, you know prostitution and, uh, you know, the crack addicts and whatnot. And most of these people, the biggest problem is they have mental health issues. Mm -hmm. It's not the fact that they're, they're on crack or they're doing this or doing that. It's, it's, it's simply because, um, uh, you know, there, there's no, there's, there's nothing there to help them out. Um, so I think that it's very important for us uh, as a community to band together, not just the, uh, I think the community itself, I think the faith-based community also. Um, you know, I, I've approached one of them now and I haven't heard back from them. I'm trying to get all the faiths together so we can help these people. Um, and, um, and I'm sick and tired of Vanier being treated by the community as the bastard child of the city. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's just, it's, it's disgusting. And even in my case, I get people that are saying, well, I'm moving to Ottawa, and I hear my cohort saying, well, go everywhere, but don't go to Vanier. That is, I had enough of that. And, if, and the other thing that we need to be looking at, I think, is, is, is housing, but not housing in the sense of doing something specifically just for the needy. We need something blended. We need to give hope to these people. You know, if, they, if they're raised in, 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 in an environment where they have, um, you know, they're, they're on welfare and whatnot, and that's all what they know, and they don't have any hope, and they just say, well, this is it. This is life. You know, I'm going to be 18 years old, and when I turn 18, I'm going to get my check, and I get my apartment. Well, that, that's, there's no hope there. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to change things, and it's, it's, I think it's banding together. And the other thing I call upon, uh, I think that we should have a debate in Vanier for Vanier issues only. That's it. I call upon the other parties to do the same thing and I have to do that. Have a debate just in Vanier about Vanier. That's it. Not Ottawa, not anywhere else, just Vanier. I'm sick and tired of just like where people are just writing on the coattails of one party or another. I am not for one party or another. I'm here to, to vent my concerns and I'm very happy that you know he uh, Audrey took took the opportunity uh, to call me back and he actually go see businesses that are affected by this. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the first time that I see this and I'm very happy to see Mr. Brown here today also. So I, and I think that that's a thing that we should do and not a thing we should do, that's the thing I demand, that we have a, a debate in Vanny about Vanny issues only. Thanks, Paul. That was uh, very compelling and this is what I heard when I knocked on his door. And so it was very stirring and compelling and thank you. Into the wind, into the wind, and what's wrong, and what's right, rise and down the winds, and now it's my life, my life, I was over the edge, and I'm tired, looking into the